Hello, everyone, Randy here, and today we're going to be looking at the farming vehicle control system here from Hori. This is a brand new control system here for farming simulator. Comes with both a wheel, pedals, uh, pedals with gas, brake, and clutch, by the way, and also a side panel with one joystick, but then it also has another multi-function handle on it as well. So I'm pretty excited about this oven. Let's get it out of the box here, take a look at what we got. Also, real quick here, sitting next to me, I have the only other, I think, farming simulator uh, control system that I know of. You folks can correct me if I'm wrong on that one, but that, of course, is the, I've got the Satec version here, but now uh, Logitech bought Satec out, so it's the Logitech heavy equipment uh, wheel bundle here. So we've got the wheel, side panel, and, of course, the pedals with it here. Again, this is the, uh, i got the Satec version, but, of course, if you buy it now, it will be the Logitech version. So anyway, let's get this out of the box. And while we're getting into this out of the box here, let's talk about some of the uh, specs here on this. And we'll kind of compare it here to the Logitech one as well, by the way. First things first, Evan, let's get the uh, sticker shock out of the way here. This is, uh, as far as control systems go, I wouldn't say that expensive, everyone. But if you compare it to this one here, it is a little bit more on the uh, pricey side. Uh, so for this one, Evan, you're looking at $400. Uh, if you get the Logitech one, Evan, uh, this is running right around uh, $230 here at the moment, so a little bit more reasonably priced. Instruction manual, we'll just throw that away. And let's see what we got in here, Evan. Start off with the wheel. Okay, but now that we got this uh, behemoth out of the box here, I think first thing we got to say about this, Evan, Let's just compare the size of this, everyone, to the size of this. Like, everything is, like, twice as large as the Logitech system here. Uh, starting off with this wheel. It feels really good in the hand, everyone. I should probably, uh, there we go. Let's put that uh, spinner up here. So, yes. Uh, this is a 900-degree rotation wheel here. Uh, no force feedback on this one, so it's just a uh, spring return to center. Uh, same thing on the Logitech here as well, by the way, they are both 900 degrees of rotation. And as far as I know, but like farming simulator really doesn't take advantage of any sort of force feedback. So if you have a force feedback wheel oven, great, but farming simulator really doesn't do anything with it. Uh, as far as I know, farming simulator does finally support force feedback. It wasn't even supported in previous versions of them, but again, it still doesn't do a whole lot from what I know. Okay, so that is the wheel oven. Of course, we got buttons on the wheel here. Very similar for those who have seen the farming simulator one by Logitech here. Uh, we got uh, wheels here, we got some pads here. Uh, there's also buttons back behind the wheel as well. Um, I'm assuming those are probably like turn signals, so left and right turn signal. Turn this around here, I don't know if folks can see that there, but there's buttons right there. And then also we have a button right in the middle here for horn as well. So, like I said, very similar to this. Now, one of the big differences here with this wheel one, oh, look at this here. We have lights and uh, I guess it looks like turn signals on here as well. I'm not sure what this all does here. Feels like it moves in four positions, so we'll have to get that hooked up and see what's, what uh, we can all do with that one here. Also on the back of one, a uh, hook up here for the pedals, and then it does have one USB connection here to plug into the computer. I'm assuming you can use these separately, I mean, so wheel and pedals, one USB connection, and then a USB connection here for the uh, side, we'll call it the side panel of them. At least that's what it seems like a good name for it to me. So there's a USB connection for that as well. Uh, there are also clamping bases here for both the wheel and the side panel. I'll set these off to the side here for now. And then let's look at the uh, wheel, or the pedals here for the wheel. So there's the pedals, Evan. Um, nothing particular fancy about these. Ooh, that brake pedal has a nice, uh, yeah, you really gotta push on that uh, brake pedal. Now mind you, I pushed it on my hand, Evan, so there's probably not that much force. Um, I know I've got my Logitech G27 uh, pedals back behind the camera here, and those those are some good feeling pedals for a joystick there, or a wheel if you ask me. Uh, steel plates on here, so it's not just all plastic on here, although the back of this, this of course, is plastic. Uh, this feels much, much better than the Logitech. These are all plastic, Evan. And yeah. uh, of course, I should mention here as well, uh, we have... Get this the right way around here because I'm facing the wrong way. Uh, so gas, brake, and clutch. I'm, I'm curious to see once how this is going to work with Farming Simulator because, and for those of you who watch my Farming Simulator videos, you know 
I've said this many times before, the way Farming Simulator works with a tractor, it's not really how it goes in real life. So I'm curious how these three pedals are going to interact with the game. We'll have to get this hooked up and find out. Uh, I plan on probably doing a second video on that, by the way, but just like the whole hookup and setting it up in Farming Simulator process. I don't want to like make this a really long video here. We're just kind of looking at both of these wheel systems here and getting a look at them. Okay, let's uh, set this off to the side and get out to what to me is probably the exciting part here of this setup oven. And that is, uh, again, I'm going to call this the uh, side panel here. Uh, a couple of things we need to note here. Uh, buttons between both of these here. Uh, so start off with the Logitech system. They claim, I think it was 37 programmable buttons. Now, I don't think that includes like axes and uh, I don't know if it includes the pedals or not either. Again, I mean, you can uh, configure that all if you want, but they claim 37 programmable buttons on this system. Now, with this one, I want, and I'm assuming that's between both here, you have 76, they call them controllable buttons. Um, I don't know if that means you maybe you can't program them all. Not entirely sure what they mean by that, but there are 76 buttons, which is like double what this one has. And that is, in my opinion, a very, very good thing, Evan. I have said this many, many times before about Farming Simulator, especially like with this one, Evan. Farming Simulator needs like a lot of buttons, Evan. Uh, and this is why I never recommend any of the, like, the regular uh, joysticks, steering wheels out there, Evan. Uh, again, I'm looking at my Logitech G27 sitting behind the camera, Evan. It has... I don't know, there's like 12 buttons, there's like 6 on the wheel, and I think there's like another 6 or something on the uh, shifter, right? So, I'm sorry, but that's not enough buttons for Farming Simulator. Uh, okay, so anyway, back to this one here, Evan. We got the joystick in the middle, and I, to, I, I gotta turn this around, Evan. This, uh, yes, yes, I mean, that is a good feeling joystick. Obviously, the joystick here on the Logitech one, yeah, that's... Maybe if you're a little kid, that's a good sized uh, little joystick, but uh, for someone like me, Evan, yeah, this one feels good. And not only that one, we got the joystick. We also have, I don't know what you want to call this. Uh, they call it a throttle, everyone. But again, the way Farming Simulator works, everyone, I don't think this is going to do... We, and we might have to maybe play around with the controls, Evan, and see once we figure out something that works better for this. Uh, at the moment, this, as far as I know, is just forward and reverse. So forward, you want to go reverse, pull up, reverse. Cool, I guess. But seems like we can do better with farming same than what we'll see once. Uh, also have, I'm actually not sure what this one will do, Evan. This is the uh, like the throttle here on the Logitech one. So this is like their throttle reverse right down there. But we'll see once. Lots of other buttons here. Nice, big, good feeling buttons. Uh, lots of buttons up on the on the joystick here as well. And there's also buttons back behind you. There's two buttons. Wow. 35 and 36. Yeah. So there's uh, number 36 right back there. Uh, all kinds of buttons up here. There's also a mode switch. Curious to see what's what that is going to do. I'm assuming it's going to do about the same thing that this one does. I forget. I always forget which one here does which one again. But there's a mode switch on this one. I want to switch is what mode. So again, if you have a piece of equipment, I'm thinking like the forestry stuff, for example, where you almost need two joysticks for, and I have set that up in the past. A lot of fun, by the way. Highly recommend doing that if you do have access to two joysticks. Um, but yeah. That's probably what that is for, if I had to guess on it, because you got lots and lots of uh, functions if you're running one of, the, of those machines. Uh, speaking of which, by the way, of course, you got your normal forward and backwards, and this also has a twist handle on it as well. Uh, a lot of your joysticks nowadays will have that as well. This one does also have that as well, by the way. Twist that one. So, yeah, there is the side panel. I'm pretty excited about this one. Again, as I mentioned here a moment ago, this does plug in separately here. has its own USB connection, so when you're running this out, you'll need two available USB connections here for this. Uh, that is the same for the Logitech setup as well, by the way. The Logitech setup as well needs two USB connections. So again, you can run them separately if you want. Uh, one of the big differences here between, uh, say, the Farming Simulator wheel of one, let's uh, pull this back to the front and the center here a minute. Slide this stuff over. If you look at one of the wheels here for Farming Simulator, and I know this one's kind of sitting on its base here, but if I put these up, you can see both of these wheels are about the same angle. I think this one might be tilted just a little bit more. But most of your wheels, that one, for like racing and stuff like that, they are going to be angled like this, right? You're going to have them angled like that. And your normal like car steering wheel, like straight in front of you. Most of your tractors, that one, they're, I think they said this is a 40 degree angle, if I remember correctly, are going to be, yeah, a little bit more like down like that. Hopefully I explained that properly there, one. And you can see that again, the angle of these wheels. 
So if you're looking at getting a wheel here or something like that for farming simulator, but again, I haven't tried this one yet, so uh, stay tuned for the rest of the video on that one. But definitely looking forward to this one, and I would highly recommend, again, if you're looking for a wheel for farming simulator, definitely check one of these out of one. Uh, maybe if you don't have the money to uh, get up into this setup here, which, again, I'm liking the looks of this so far. we got to hook it up to the game here. That'll be right, uh, right after this uh, clip here. Yeah, definitely check out the Logitech one as well. I've had this... Uh, this uh, Logitech one, or again, it was Satac back in the day. The Satac setup came back out in uh, Farming Simulator 2015. I believe it was the Gold Edition, so that probably would have been year 2015 as well, if I'm not mistaken. So eight, nine, yeah, eight. I believe eight years ago, uh, is when this setup came out here. Uh, it's served me quite well. I have had no problems with my uh, Satac again, not Logitech. Farming simulator wheel and pedals. Nice thing about this setup, it is plug and play. You plug it in, you go. You don't have to install anything, you don't have to set anything up. Plug and play. Uh, this is also supposed to be plug and play, although they do want you to update uh, the drivers and stuff upon first setting it up. So I we'll have to make sure we uh, do that. There's like multiple notes in the box and on the website. And uh, please update your firmware when you first set it up. So we'll have to make sure we do that. Speaking of all, gentlemen, let's get this uh, system connected to the computer here and check it out. Okay, real quick, Kevin, I know I mentioned I was going to start setting this up here, but I just remembered as I'm setting this up, uh, there are mounts on the bottom here for mounting this to a stand if you want. So you've got the mount locations there, uh, same thing on the uh, side panel as well. There are mount locations, so if you have a uh, steering wheel mount of some sorts, it should line up with the system. The Logitech system does not have that, by the way. And I did have this on a mount, by the way, I just clamped it to it. Curious to see what's how that's going to work, because with my Logitech system, I was able to clamp these side by side next to each other. Don't think that's going to work here with this setup, so I'm probably just going to clamp this right to my desk here for this video, and then in the future I'm going to see what's what I can do about uh, getting it on my steering wheel stand. Okay, I've got the uh, clamping bases on here. The one thing I noticed about the one here for the side panel, it doesn't seem to go real tight for some reason. I'm not sure why that is. I've got these as tight as they will go, but it's still, yeah, don't know. But anyway, we'll get this clamp down here and let's get it hooked up. Okay, when I was setting up the uh, pedals here, and I noticed with the Hori pedals here, the bottom of this is pretty smooth. There's not a whole lot as far as grip on the bottom of these pedals here. It does have a couple rubber pads in the corner. But when I put this on the carpet, I went like, there's, there is not much there. So when I go to step, especially like the brake pedal, it has a little more resistance on it. Next thing I know, that, that pedal is working its way backwards. Uh, however, the Logitech one, they've got some grippy parts on the bottom, like I can, uh, I can push pretty good on this. Actually, you know, it doesn't even want to go. As long as I got a little weight down on it, it's not going anywhere, is it? So yeah, that, that one's got a little more grip on it. I like that one. I don't like this. We might have to do something about that. Again, I do have a steering wheel stand, so this probably is going to go on the stand. Won't matter then, but just FYI, Evan, if you're on a carpeted surface, you might have to do something about that. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and uh, fire up the game here. Farming Simulator 22. I don't know if this uh, system will work with older versions of the game here or not. If I had to guess, Evan, it probably will. You might have to just like program all the uh, key bindings and controls on it here. And let's go to our options here. We're going to go down to our game controls here, game pad. And oh, look at that. Oh, excellent, Evan. Oh, there's actually some state tech stuff in there yet as well. Interesting. Hmm, Hori. I'm curious why we're seeing a mixture of both. Hopefully that's not a bad problem. I'm going to find out here. I think we're looking pretty good here, though. Uh, one thing we might want to check here. Now, the axe is okay. Oh, good. This is the uh, Hori one here as well. This is uh, like a little pet peeve I have always had with Farming Simulator. I'm on Farming Simulator sets their dead zones to, in my opinion, an absolutely atrociously, ridiculously, way too high 14%. Um, I, I'll probably leave it like this for now, but once we get into this here, I am probably going to come back to this screen 
and we are going to probably significantly reduce some of these, especially the one for the wheel. I don't know if I can tell. Can tell me which one is. Yeah, I don't know which one is for the wheel. This is the uh, controller panel. Okay, we want the wheel. Steering. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know which one is for the steering. I'm going to CLT, BRK. Oh, okay. Clutch, brake, accelerator. RX, RS, RS, LS. Uh, so possibly RX. We have LSX, LSY. That would be the D pads. Or the joystick pads, I'm sorry. Uh, then we got, okay, so the right side. So it got to be RX, I would think. So I'm, you know what? I, I know I said I wasn't going to. We're going to go ahead and uh, just. Uh, yeah, okay. And I, ooh, this is right. Okay. That is cool, Evan. I don't remember this being a feature here before. Maybe they added this in. But you can actually. So I am turning the wheel, Evan. So I know I have the right one here. And I'm just going to turn that right down to zero. If it's like the Logitech one, Evan, the Logitech one literally had a built in dead zone. So you turn it a little bit before it would actually activate. I don't know if that's the case here with this one or not, but we're going to try it at... Do we dare do zero? Maybe at least turn it up to like five or something. Now, you know what? No. We're, gonna do, we're doing zero. We're doing zero. Let's apply that. Out of curiosity with some of these other ones here. Can I... Uh, oh, yeah. There we go. There's those. And the reason I don't like this dead zone, what it does, Evan, is... Uh, you know what? We might want to change this for the accelerator too. So I'm pushing on the pedal, pushing on the pedal, pushing on. Oh, there we go. All of a sudden. And then if you want to go like a little bit, I mean, this is like the smallest amount you can go. So if we crank this down, everyone. Again, I don't know if we get away with 0% here. Oh, again, looks like this has a built in dead zone, I mean, because I'm pushing, pushing. There it is. But we could definitely get a whole lot less. Like that bar is small, I mean, So. Again, like the uh, Lodge deck, it looks like there is a built-in dead zone. Let's try the brake here. Pushing, pushing. More, more. There we go. There. I think we can just set this down to probably 0%. We're going to set this one down to 0% as well. Now, if our controls start drifting, everyone will have to come back in here and crank some of this stuff up. But let's uh, see once how that goes here, trying the clutch. Yeah, you can see we got, like, really fine control on that one same with the brake as well yes i'm liking the looks of that one again it feels like there is a built-in dead zone with this so we should be good let's go ahead and load up our career here and see once how we uh how this goes Okay, we're back in the uh, gamepad controls here under the uh, settings here. I went ahead and reset all the controls. Uh, some of the Satec stuff that was there is no longer here. Now we're just seeing all the hoary new steering wheel here. I think that'll fix some of the other uh, problems we were having. So let's go back into the game here. Reload our game and see what's how it works here now. So maybe something to uh, keep in mind there. Uh, if you were running a wheel and you go to this system, I would, you might have to uh, reset your controls there. Might be worth noting. Okay, there we go. That seems a little bit more reasonable. Now I can move with the left stick. Look around with the right stick. I've seen one of these. Yeah, that one's jump. Crouch. Okay, not sure what that one does yet. Okay, oh, that one's switching tractors. Okay, well, speaking of switching tractors, let's switch to the combine there. Zoom it in. Nope, that okay, this next header. Ah, there we go. That one zooms in. Switching. Now, let's see what's what it takes to uh, turn this on here. What do you folks think? Actually, what? I downloaded the uh, cheat sheet here from the Hori website. So, let's see what's here. On our controls, what turns one on? Nope, on ground. Nope, probably don't want that. Turn tools on. Button 27, huh? Where would one find button 27? Oh, 27. Okay. okay. This still does not. Yeah, again, might have to go with a different uh, mode, maybe. Well, that I went 
I think we're going to wrap up uh, today's video here on the Hori vehicle control system here. Seems like a really well built system here uh, so far. Again, I need to learn the uh, controls here, at least for farming simulator of one. And I'll probably at some point remap some of those controls here as well. Uh, a couple things I've noticed. First off, the uh, foot pedals down there, they definitely need something if you're going to use them on carpet. Like you're going to need some sort of rubber grip or something to keep them in place. I mean, otherwise they're going to slide all over the place. I definitely don't like that. That is probably a fault of the uh, the system here. And the next thing I want, this is more uh, farming simulator and giant's fault. That is, don't forget to go in and check your dead zone settings, Evan. Again, I don't know why Giant sets it to a ridiculously 14%. I just find that to be absolutely ludicrously stupid. Uh, had the same thing with the Logitech system as well, but again, just go in there, reduce them to whatever you feel comfortable. You might have to play around with them a little bit, Evan. At least with the Logitech system here, I set most of the steering and gas pedals and stuff like that to like zero, Evan. Again, and it seems to be the case here with this setup as well. There is some form of a built-in dead zone here with this system. Same thing with the Logitech one. Do yourself a favor, turn those dead zones way down, and I think you'll be uh, much, much happier with your wheel. Otherwise, again, I know like the Logitech one, you leave it up at 14%, you start turning the wheel, and all of a sudden, you just do not have any sort of fine control of it. It feels like you're playing with a key, in fact, almost worse than playing with a keyboard. So you'll have much, much finer control by turning that down. So again, uh, thanks for watching you folks. If you have any comments or questions about this or the other wheel for that matter, and throw them down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Again, I want to thanks for watching and until next time.